In this video, I'll show you everything that you need to know for Nano Banana Pro in the field of architecture and interior design. You will learn how to turn a screenshot into a render, turn a floor plan into a render, remodel a room, remodel a home or a building's exterior and landscaping, instantly change your render's POV, create a mood board from your liked or saved images, easily change the style of your image, all prompts, links, and the extremely helpful Nano Banana Pro cheat sheet are all located in the description below. Let's jump right in. Nano Banana Pro is unfortunately not free, so let's go ahead and sign up for it. Don't worry though, you get your first month for free. Head over to google.com. Make sure you're logged into the account that you want to sign up for Nano Banana on. Click the grid icon in the top right and scroll down to Google One. On the left hand side, select Google AI and select Start Trial. Follow through all of the prompts to sign up. After you've done all that, meet me at gemini.google.com. The link is also in the description below. In order to activate Nano Banana Pro, select Create Image, and on the right-hand side of the prompt bar, select Thinking, and make sure Thinking with 3 Pro is selected. Let's turn this screenshot into a render. Click Add Files, the plus icon, Upload Files, and select the image of your render. Type in Turn This Screen shot of a building into a high quality architectural rendering. Apply realistic materials where applicable and make it a bright sunny day. When you're done, press enter. The hardest part about using Nano Banana Pro isn't the tool itself. It's writing a powerful prompt and knowing exactly what you want. That's why I created the ultimate Nano Banana Pro cheat sheet. It's the internet's best-selling Nano Banana Pro prompting guide made specifically for architecture and interior design. If you want the only Nano Banana Pro resource you'll ever need, it's linked in the description below. Check it out and upgrade your workflow instantly. This is the before and this is the after. I'd like to add more materials onto the building. Let's say let's make it more warm and inviting, so I'm going to add some wood elements. At the bottom, in the prompt bar, you simply type in your next command. Make the tower and the image made out of wood planks. Press enter. You can add entourage into the image very easily. I created a pack of over 800 cutout scale figures. They're realistic and they're in PNG format. We could type in here, hey Nano Banana, add a lot of people into this image but they may not be the people that you want. I'm gonna head over into the pack of over 800 scale figures and choose which ones I wanna see in the image. When you find the image you like, you simply click it and drag it into the prompt. I'm gonna do this with about 10 more people. After you've clicked and dragged the people into the prompt bar, simply type, add these cutouts of people in the images into the architectural rendering. Place them in realistic locations and adjust the lighting so they fit in. Adjust the scale of the people so they fit in. After you're done, press enter. And this is the output from that prompt. Let's say you wanted to change the climate of this image. Perhaps it's snowing outside and you want to add snow on the ground and change the weather. At the same time though, the entire entourage should look like they're actually in the middle of winter. So they should be wearing coats and scarves. And the prompt type, change the climate to be in the middle of winter. Add snow onto the ground. Change the clothing of the entourage to be winter clothing. After you're done, press enter. And this is the output from that image. You know what? Let's go ahead and make it Christmas. Now let's turn a floor plan into a rendered building. Click new chat in the top left. Select create image to make sure nano banana is selected. And on the right hand side, make sure thinking is selected. Click the plus icon and upload the image of your floor plan. Copy and paste the prompt from the description below. Make sure to fill in any of the blanks. I'm going to change the location to an urban environment, and I'm going to say it has 16 floors. After you're done, press enter. This was my floor plan, and this is the output from the prompt. Now let's learn how to remodel a room, or to remodel an already furnished room. Click Create Image. Make sure thinking is selected. Click the plus icon and upload the image of your empty room. This is a photograph of my empty apartment. Copy and paste the prompt from the description below. Now let's fill in all the brackets. I want the design style to be japan -D. minimalism. I'm going to say this is my living room. I'm going to leave it to Nano Banana to select the trending color palette. So I'm going to say 2026 trending color palette. I'm also going to leave it up to Nano Banana to select the key materials. 
I'm gonna write 2026, trending key materials and textures. The furniture I would like to see is a couch, a rug, coffee table, a media console, a TV, artwork on the walls, and a lot of beautiful house plants to give the room life. I'm also gonna say decorate the room accordingly. After you're done, press enter. This is my apartment before, and this is my apartment after the remodel using Nano Banana. Let's remodel a room that already has furniture in it. This can help us get inspiration and to reimagine spaces that we already have. Click the plus icon to add the photograph of your room. This is a photograph of my apartment with furniture in it. Copy and paste the prompt from the description below and let's fill in the brackets. For the edit instructions, I'm gonna say, I want a new coffee table that matches the room. I would like more house plants to fill the space. I want artwork on the walls that match the design aesthetic already established. I want magazines on the table for reading. I want my couch to be L-shaped. After you're done, press enter. This is my apartment before, and this is my apartment after the edits with Nano Banana. Let's remodel the exterior of this home, change the style of it, and we can also add landscaping. Click the plus icon and select the image of your home or the building that you wanna edit. This is an image of a typical suburban home I'm gonna use. Copy and paste the prompt from the description below. After you're done, press enter. This is the home before the edits, and this is the home after. I created a pack of over 200 cutout plants that look realistic. You can find it linked in the description below. I'm gonna use this pack the same way that I use the cutout people pack. By doing this, I'll be able to add whatever plants I want into the landscaping of this home. Simply go through the pack, find what you wanna add, and click and drag it into the prompt. In the prompt bar, type, add these uploaded images of plants into the landscaping of this home. Incorporate them so they look realistic. Adjust the lighting so they fit in. You may change the landscaping of the home to incorporate the plants better. After you're done, press enter. And this is the output from that prompt. Let's say you have an image and you wanna change the POV so you're more on the ground or more in the air, like an aerial view. Click the plus icon and add the image of your building. This is the image I'm gonna use. Copy and paste the prompt from the description below. First, I'm gonna turn it into an aerial view. Press enter. And this is the output from that prompt. Now I'm gonna create a view from the ground, looking at the building. Copy and paste the prompt from the description and change it accordingly. Adjust the camera angle so that the building is being viewed by a human on the ground at eye level. After you're done, press enter. You can see that Nano Banana still struggles with changing the POV of an image, but it does do a better job at it if you ask it to move vertically. Even in this instance, it didn't lower it all the way to the human eye perspective. Below the image is the redo command. If you select this, it will redo it until you find one that you like. A lot of us have Pinterest boards or collections of images of buildings, art, or design elements that we love. Google Nano Banana can combine all of these elements into one mood board to help us narrow in on the right stuff for our project. This is a Japandi coffee shop board on Pinterest. Click into the image, right click it, and select save image as. Go through and save all of the images that you would like to add to your mood board. After you have saved all of your images, head over into Nano Banana, click the plus icon and upload files, Upload all the images that you screenshotted from Pinterest or wherever your source is. After they're uploaded, copy and paste the prompt from the description below for the mood board. Press enter. This is the completed mood board created from all the images. A fun thing you can do is you can actually turn this mood board into an interior rendering of a room. Click the plus icon and upload the mood board. Copy and paste the prompt from the description below. After you're done, press enter. This is an image of the mood board, and this is the room that Nano Banana created from it. You can easily change the style of any image using Nano Banana Pro. First, upload your image, and then copy and paste the prompt from the description below for changing the style. Inside the brackets, choose the style that you wanna see, and there's actually a huge list of these styles to choose from in the Nano Banana Pro cheat sheet located in the description below. After you've typed in a style, hit enter. This is the original image, and here is that same image in a different style. There's hundreds to choose from.
If you like the video, please like the video and subscribe down below if you want to see future content just like this. If you want to support the channel further, check out the Patreon. It's linked in the description below. Thanks for watching.